Hello and welcome to my very first art YouTube video. Um, it might be my first and my last or if this goes well I might make a few more. Um, I recently came across this sketchbook that I completed or mostly completed when I was doing my art degree um, a few years ago now and this was an idea that I really wanted to do but my university mentor at the time told me um, basically that it was rubbish <laughs> um, and she actually referred me or asked me whether I'd like to be referred to um, a counsellor so it's a controversial one um, and I think I remember the topic was something about social commentary or um, you know making a statement with your art so I decided to have a look at serial killers um, just really want to make it clear, a bit of a disclaimer, I do not condone what any of the people that I may talk about in this video did. I do not idolise them, I do not think it's a great thing, but I do think it's very interesting that as a society, we are fascinated with the morbid. Uh, we do have morbid fa fascination and if you just look at... Um, for example, Netflix originals, half of those are about serial killers, um, there's new ones about child abuse, things like that, and I think we're all just fascinated. So my original idea was to, um, I am a portrait artist primarily, so I was creating portraits in sort of the mugshot style in this sketchbook, and eventually I wanted to work towards doing something, um, sort of like a stained glass window, um, portraying them as idols even though they aren't. So this was as far as I got before I was told, stop, that's weird, do something about feminism, which was essentially my feedback. So let's go straight into it. So I have a few loose pages that I salvaged from other sketchbooks before. Um, I got rid of most of my university artwork stuff. I've got this Polaroid of some oil paintings that I did. Um, and hung up in my studio. These are my first oil paintings ever. I have got a couple of those to show you, but most of those are gone. Um, a couple of Biro uh, sketches. So this one is Andre Chikatilo in the middle of his court case. And John Wayne Gacy. Ted Bundy one. A pencil study of Peter Sutcliffe. Um, and I mean, I'm not going to go into any detail about what these people did and who they are. So if you don't know them, maybe if you can stomach it, have a Google. Um, so we have Albert Fish, Harold Shipman, um, Jeffrey Dahmer and Peter Curtin. Again, Biro Studies. And these are the last of the Biro Studies now. This is Fred and Rose Marie West and Ian Brady and Myra Hindley. So some really famous sort of British... Um, and I mean that's the point, they were famous and why are they famous? Um, which is what I was trying to touch on, um, but my tutor thought I was a little bit disturbed. So the majority of the rest of this sketchbook are ink studies like this where I looked at um, mugshots where I could find them or pictures that looked like mugshots um, and I created them in these black and white ink um, studies. So this is John Wayne Gacy again. Uh, I believe this is Albert Fish, I'm testing my knowledge now, and this one, I think is Andre Chikatilo before they shaved his head. And I mean, I was really, really proud of these, I spent a long time um, on these, so we have Ian Brady and Myra Hindley. Um It's a weird thing to say I was proud of them, but I was really proud of these. Can't quite remember who this is, so if you do know, maybe comment below. Um, is this one Albert Fish? No, not Albert Fish. See, I'm testing my knowledge. I'm not a super fan of serial killers, but I thought it was interesting. This one's definitely Andre Chikatilo. Um, oh, I missed a page. Let's go back. Uh, is this Peter Sutcliffe? Um, what was her name? She was the nurse that killed children with injections. A few more. 
you know, I was really pleased with the tonal work on here. You've got Charles Manson before and after. This is him now-ish. Um, and this is him at the time of the murders. John Wayne Gacy, he was one of my favourite ones to draw. Um, not because <laughs> of who he is, but I just think he has a really interesting face. And I loved all the shadows and um, it's just one of a, a bit more of a detailed one. And Harold Shipman, the Demon Doctor. So as you can see, I spent a long time Fred and Rosemary West on all of these. Uh, I think her name is Mary Bell, uh, who killed people as a child. Um, Ian Brady, not Ian Brady, Ted Bundy. Uh, these ones again are very um, famous British. These are child murderers. These were part of the Jane Bulger case. So they've got John Venables and I always forget the other boy's name. Um, but, you know, this was a massive thing and this really affected my life because this happened the year that I was born uh, when they murdered a two-year-old boy. Um, so, you know, again, it's things like, how do I know that? You know, I was brought up being told to be careful because of them. Jeffrey Dahmer. Ian... I can't remember his name, but he was um, an interesting one to look at. He was sort of the English equivalent of Jeffrey Dahmer, so an interesting one to read about or watch documentary about if that's what you're into. Andre Chikatilo again, Howard Shipman again, so I did repeat a few and then these, um, I felt a little bit guilty about not filling up the book, so these are photocopies of the ink drawings that you've just seen and I did add just some colour accents and again this is sort of me starting to say if we portray them in a different light, are we showing them as idols? So adding that little bit of colour, does it make the you know this smile when it's in black and white seems ominous, but with a bit of colour, does it seem more cheerful, jovial, and playful? So just played around. I think this one made it far more creepy. Um, if you don't know that John Wayne Gacy was a clown, um, as well as a serial killer, so interesting. You know. Like I said, these ones in particular, because they're so relevant to my life, um, you know, it was very local and prevalent at the time that I was um, little. Seeing them in colours, they just seem so much more innocent, I think. And I really wanted to work towards that sort of stained glass window or idle um, depiction of them. Um, so I'll speed through these a bit quicker because they are all the same. We've just done a bit of colour um, added to them one way or another. Okay, and that's the end of this book. I did have some time to do some oil paintings. Um, so I'll have a quick look at those with you now. The, this was my first ever, it's kind of hard to fit in the frame. Uh, my first ever oil painting. Um, so I was actually really proud of how this one turned out despite the subject matter. Um, so that one is Charles Manson and the only other one that I've kept, I've got rid of most of them, is um, this one of Rosemary West because I was really, <laughs> it's a silly thing to be proud of but I was really proud of this one shadow on this one here of the glasses. Um, I just think I realised that was something that I previously really overlooked. Um, <clears throat> so that is um, the project that could have been. Um, I hope you enjoyed having a look at it. If you enjoyed this video, please give me some feedback. Give me a thumbs up. Um, I've toyed with the idea of making a channel for some time. And I've definitely been getting into art more. I've very nearly finished my latest sketchbook. So if that's something you want to see in a couple of weeks time, please let me know. Okay, I hope you enjoyed having a look through my artwork and stay safe. Bye.